so I'm just driving home from a bonfire that my friend invited me to and it was somewhat a secular recovery group and I just want to say like God is really used tonight to open my eyes to the reality of where he's at like even hearing some of the stories that they told me of themselves in addiction wanting to commit suicide but then something happening to prevent them from doing so from acting that out from playing that out and I just felt the Holy Spirit so strong like God loves people even when they don't know him he loves them so much and he doesn't want them to commit suicide you know like and he'll even do things without getting recognition for it that's how good God is that he'll do something for somebody and they won't give him glory for it but in the end he's gonna get the glory for it and so it just was like revelation upon revelation tonight being in this group of people um and you know in addiction in the past i can relate to so many of the stories that were being told um of their past and i felt like it also like gave me that boost i need in order to go forth because there are people out there and i'm not just saying it about this recovery gathering and stuff but just in general there's people out there that think that that is it to just live this life and there's so much more to that there's just so much more freedom in Christ that that it's so hard to fully explain to those who don't know and so it just was like it was so eye-opening like God and you know I just started thanking God right now just like thank you Jesus that I know you because for me it's not about a program it's not about my works it's not about the things I've been through it's about the love of Jesus that I found the eternal love in grace and satisfaction found only in him and that's my story and I'm sticking to it <laughs> like that is what set me free from drug addiction it wasn't anything else it was Jesus Christ his love overwhelming me and his power through the power of the Holy Spirit that set me free and I'm talking about a miracle I'm talking about a mind completely transformed and renewed by the word of God and it's available to anyone who would receive him and who would be willing to lay their lives down you see that's the big thing that I think a lot of people that I've come across in the last five years when I'm when I'm speaking the gospel and telling people about what Jesus has done and what he had what he's capable of through the blood of, of Jesus Christ through the cross is that there's a power and there's a requirement to come clean to God there's a requirement to lay down your life and follow Jesus that's the requirement it's the word of God and so many people don't want to lay their sin down. They don't want to they don't want to give up the things of this world to follow Jesus. See, you have to come to a place in your life where you know without a shadow of a doubt something is missing. Something is missing and there's something greater. And be willing to lay down all of the things that caused you pain, that caused you discouragement, that caused you to be suicidal in the first place and follow Jesus you the sin has to come out it has to be purged in the name of Jesus and so I remember when I 
really surrendered to Jesus, I said, you can have it all. You can have every part of me. You can take away every sin. You can take away every character defect that I have, God. I want to serve you, Lord Jesus. I made him Lord of my life. And that's where um, that, that making Jesus Lord it means laying down your sin because he requires that and it's it's not legalism i'm not talking i'm not talking religiously right now i'm talking about a heart transformation i'm talking about a love that is so much greater than any satisfaction that any sin could bring and i know i'm not perfect and that's not what i mean but trying every single day. Father, I give you this day, keeping short accounts with Jesus. God, I, I could have said that better. Lord Jesus, forgive me. Help me to do better, right? God, I'm sorry that, that I offended you because sin offends God. It offends God. And so um, just so many different revelations have been coming to me more and more lately about the requirement of laying your life down he says pick up your cross and follow me and that's what that means is laying down all of your sin for his will to be fulfilled in your life because his will doesn't um it doesn't make like he has grace for our sin right so like his will is going to be played out even though we still sin the blood of jesus christ has made us pure it has made us holy and so um we walk in that confidence we walk in that purity because of what jesus christ did on the cross and it becomes a love thing god i love you so much and i know you want the best for me and so I'm deciding to lay down my sin. I'm deciding to lay down the things that you say are going to hurt me in the end. And so I, like for me, and this is only my story because everyone has their own testimony and the, the, the way that God has set them free from drug addiction is different. But the, the way that God has set me free is that I I only really share my testimony to make a reference of what Jesus Christ has done so that those who hear it would believe that he could that he's that powerful and that whatever it is that they need he can do for them. But for like in my walk, I just love Jesus and like the Bible never runs dry. There's always something new to learn. There's always a uh, new revelation a deeper relationship with god and that's where i find my joy and so i like to say that i'm not in recovery i've been set free the bible says i'm a new creation and so if you start walking in that in what he's called you you're gonna start having breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough and jesus is going to become the treasure of your heart Yes, we we strive and um, we run our race. We want to run it with excellence. We want to run it well and lay those sins down. And so um, I wanted to just share this because I believe God had me in that circle tonight for a reason. And one of those reasons was to show me the climate, the spiritual climate of quote unquote the recovery community and um just the revelations I shared with you so thank you for listening um we're in this together God's word is real like if I could tell anybody one thing is that freedom in Jesus Christ is real it is tangible I am not the same person if I could just plead with you, trust me, the person I once was 
is not who I am today. And I am unwilling to compromise that for anybody or anything. Including my own fleshly desires for sin. And, um, and just going after deliverance. Going after the things of God despite what anyone may say because you can't take away somebody's testimony because my testimony is in God's hands it's a testimony it's God's testimony nobody can take it from me because I lived it I encountered him and I don't know why he chose me but he did so um I just praise God for that I honestly every single day I'm like God I don't know why he chose me but I'm so happy he did thank you father Thank you, Father. If there's anybody out there tonight, anybody out, whoever watches this video, God, I pray that you would encounter them in such a powerful way, Father God, that they would never question you again, that they would just know, that they would never question your existence, I should say, again, God, that they would encounter you so radically, God, that they would be set on fire, God, that they would be a new creation, Father, and that they would become mouthpieces for what you're capable of, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for your freedom. Thank you, God, that I found my joy and my satisfaction in you, God. You guys, in Jesus' name, amen. You guys, there's no satisfaction like the love of Jesus and who he is and watching him move in your life. Surrender, lay down your sin, and go forth in Jesus' name.